Hi Capricorn, this is a general love reading for May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can get a personal reading if you want. All that information is in the description box, or you can watch one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, and do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see what is going on with Capricorn. First half of May. All right, we have settling and we have purge. All right, okay, so somebody seems to be settling in a situation that they might not be very happy in and just kind of allowing things to be what they are. But there's also purging, all right, which is actually a very good first step in order to releasing whatever it is that someone is settling for. All right, because it's all the emotions coming up um, to be processed and then to be released so that then you can actually do something about it. So could be you, could be your person. Let's see what this is about. the situation we have the queen of swords crossed by the ten of wands there's a truth that is beginning to show up here there's a lot of clarity that is beginning to show up here as well um, for one of you at least and this is actually feeling like a burden to somebody. I feel like it's a very difficult truth maybe. Um, this truth might have even been in relation to somebody um, cutting the other person off or there being distance, emotional distance, <clears throat> detachment, whatever it is though. Um, there's a lot of clarity surrounding that and this is weighing heavy on, on the other person is the way it's coming through or even on the person that is keeping their distance. So for the recent past, we have the Empress, and in the near future, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, wow. All right, so this person definitely thought very highly of you. I feel like they still do, but I feel like this was also in the past. They have always thought very highly of you, and if not always, there's definitely a time recently where something happened where I feel like you kind of went up. Um, in their minds, in their eyes, in the way that they, in the way that they view you. And I feel like this is also based on reality. I feel like, you know, you did step into your Empress energy. You did make things happen for yourself. You stood up for yourself. Um, you became aware of exactly what it is that you deserve. Um, that sort of a thing. And I feel like this really, really had an effect on on the other person here. The Ten of Pentacles being in your near future. Okay, so this could even be work-related. Um, it could be commitment for some of you, for sure, um, or that energy beginning to come up in this situation. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see, for your energy here, we have Temperance. For them, we have the Chariot. More about you is the King of Wands. For them, the Six of Pentacles. Potential outcome, the Two of Cups. Okay. And a message for you here is the Two of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so you, I feel like I said, you're doing a very good job of balancing yourself out. Um, I feel like you may have even been very patient with yourself. You've learned a lot of moderation. Um, or you are still learning these virtues as you go along. But you're standing strong. I, I see you as standing very, very strong here and, you know, just really overcoming your challenges. So I'm trying to understand who it is that is settling in the situation here. I feel like for the most part, it's going to be um, your person because, well, they have the six of pentacles here as well as the chariot. So there's a lot of drive, all right, on their end. There's a lot of drive. There's a lot of um, this urge to 
move, to take some action, to get something going. Um, this could even be literal, like actual physical movement or travel for some of them. Um, yeah, because with that Six of Pentacles, it could be that they are kind of giving parts of their energy or were giving parts of their energy to you, but also to another energy possibly, to something else. Um, so it could be that they are settling in a situation. It could be that you were settling for something that you did not deserve and that now, you know, you are purging that out. You are releasing that. We do have the Two of Cups, though, for the potential outcome. So that's, I mean, that's love. That's love. That's a coming together. So let's clarify and see. And we do have a whole bunch of signs on, on the table, so um, none of them are really standing out to me more than, than the others. All right, let's see, Queen of Swords with the Ten of Wands. All right, so we have the Judgment, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Cups. All right, so yeah, there was, I feel like there was a decision that was made on somebody's end. There was a discernment. There was a truth possibly that has come to, to the light that has resurfaced or just surfaced. And because of that, there has been an emotional um, distancing, a walking away, that kind of a thing. And it, this could even be in relation to a third party for some of you or somebody just really, t maybe possibly just taking things too lightly. Like somebody just being too, um, I, I get the sense of not taking things seriously and because of that, because of that, you know, there was a fallout here in some, in one way or another. There was something that was weighing very heavy as well, I feel, actually on both of your ends. Um, I actually feel like for you it was first and then for the other person once, if it's you that became distant. Um, I, I feel like one person here is still kind of waiting waiting to see if this will if this will resolve to see if there will still be a reconciliation I'm not sure if it's you or them and i feel that that weight is weighing heavy on them because i feel like you know that truth whatever it was that came to the light that clarity um was something pretty powerful and not not an easy energy to to deal with temperance for your energy the six of wands death and the three of pentacles yeah so again you know I feel like there may have been a third party involved um, and I get I get the sense that you know you may have been patient um, with this situation and eventually you were just like, no, you know, you waited for, to, you know, for it to either be done or see if it would conclude or just giving them some time or maybe you just took time to process it. I don't know. All right. But I do feel like you have shown some patience and maybe you were settling for a situation that wasn't, um, serving you as much as you would have wanted it to. And because of that, I feel like you put an end to this and I feel like you were very successful at that. It doesn't mean that it's easy. It's just that, you know, you really made up your mind here. You really made up your mind here and I feel like, yeah, you know, like that really had an effect. Um, let's see the King of Wands. And I feel like, you're, you, you know, you're in the process of finding Finding your own balance, kind of like recovering um, and healing yourself 
from this um, event or from this situation. All right, so for the King of Wands, we have the Lovers and we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, there was some kind of a deceit here. All right, um, if, if that's not your situation, this reading just isn't for you. What I'm getting here is that there was some kind of a sneaking around behind your back, some kind of a dishonesty. It doesn't necessarily have to involve someone else, but I just get the feeling that it does. Um... And you, I feel like you still feel the connection with this person. I do feel like it was a strong bond, even though that betrayal happened. Um, but I feel like what's happening right now is that you're able to really process these emotions. You're really able to process that, that trauma or, you know, all the negative feelings that you may have felt because of this that may have been repressed. I feel like they're coming up. And because you are processing them and because you, you have been purging, this is why you're standing strong here, all right? And if that hasn't happened for you yet, if this resonates but that hasn't happened yet, then this is what um, the month of May might um, hold for you. I see you being very successful here. You have both the Six of Wands and the King of Wands. You're overcoming your challenges. Like I said, you're healing and finding your balance. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the chariot. The Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. Ooh, okay, yeah. So this person, like I said, they really, I feel like they just want to come after you. I feel like this person just wants to chase you down kind of a thing, but, but they're not acting on it. They're very, very scared. They're trapped in a lot of um, self-doubt and a lot of fear. Um, they don't know, you know, what that would lead to, you know, are they going to be rejected? There's just a lot of fear. There's a lot of overthinking about it, but they ha that urge is definitely there. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Ten of Wands again. All right, so see, yeah, I do feel like that is them. You know, they're feeling very burdened by the fact that you found out something, you made a discernment. It may have taken you a little bit of time um, to choose your way, but, but you did. And when you did, it was like final. It was like, bam, it was big. Um, and that, that just really hit them hard. And they're facing a big challenge right now, right? They have both the nine of wands and the ten of wands and with the ace of cups i mean that's because they still have a lot of feelings for you there's still a lot of um love that they're feeling regardless of of what happened and you know what i don't care what you guys say in the comments you know that can happen all right um i'm not saying that you need to to get back with this person all right that's completely up to you i'm just saying some, what i see all right this person is definitely feeling that love, all right? I'm not promising anybody anything if this person's going to be deceitful again or not. Um, this is just what I see going on here, okay? I do see this person trying to balance themselves out and also just really feeling like it's a challenge to be able to make up for it in, in a way where it would be like deserving of you because like I said, they see you as the empress. And so they don't know, you know, what can I possibly give to this person for it to be enough to, you know, um, either make up or, because they do want that reconciliation, either to make up or, you know, for it to be even, for me, for my own self to be deserving of them. That's what they're having a big, um, a challenge about. That's, that's something also that is weighing very heavy on them. Like, how can they balance this out? How can they fix this? How can it ever be even? And maybe it can't be, you know? I don't know. I feel like you're in a very good place to make that discernment for yourself right now because you, you're you really healing here. And I see you being very balanced and standing strong and just, you know, knowing what you want. So... Yeah, let's uh, let's see that Ten of Pentacles coming up 
because I mean you have both the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups for future energies or potentials here. Alright, so clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Tower and we have the Hanged Man. Alright. I feel like this is really about um, a, several messages coming through. Number one, I feel like it's a huge realization of commitment and what that actually means, stability, um, because even here with this person wanting to come forward as this chariot, which is, a, like I said, a lot of drive, a lot of power behind it. It can also be a little bit impulsive. It can be just a little bit immature sometimes. But I, what I see here is a realization of real commitment and long term. And what does that mean? All right. But I feel like, you know, I feel like this is your person learning this lesson here. They're learning that the hard way. They're learning that the hard way, all right, with the tower being here. It's like a huge realization of just really seeing things from a different perspective. But once they get there, they're going to have that huge tower moment because of what it is that they have lost. That they now, they can't, they don't have that ten of pentacles. Um, I also see this for you as being like a big shift, a big change. Things just um, starting over, things being new for you especially if you have left this in the past, at least for now, all right? Certain things, what I'm seeing here, it's, it's, it's current energy, right? Um, things can definitely change in the future. But what I'm seeing here is that, you know, there's this tower, there's this change for you, which is leading you to a more stable place though. It's leading, it's helping you to find your own stability in your physical world, in your emotional world, just all around. Let's see the two of cups for the potential outcome. All right, let's see. Three of swords, seven of pentacles. Give me one sec because I dropped a card. And it is the empress. All right. So what I'm seeing here is that, yeah, you know, there has been and there is a lot of um, heartbreak. There's a lot of pain in this connection. Um, I see you still standing strong here as the Empress. You know, you're not you're not allowing yourself to go back to um, vibing low or just, you know, not not demanding what you deserve. All right. And I feel like that is a very great thing. Um, I do still see that potential there though, all right, with the Two of Cups. Um, for this person, it would be something that would take a lot of work possibly. It would need to be, um, you know, a slow, gradual process with that Seven of Pentacles, like just really taking things slow and planting the seeds and doing things in the right way. And especially when it comes to overcoming um, this pain and the betrayal that may have happened, all right? That's only in the case that you would want this outcome, all right? If not, you know. Uh, you know, that's that's up to you, as I said, but I do see that there is a potential here for you to still maintain your Empress energy and still have that Two of Cups. And the reason why I'm not saying that this could be someone else is because, well, we have the Three of the three of Swords here. I just feel like it has to do with the pain and the um, betrayal that you may have felt from this particular connection. But again, as I said, you know, you follow your intuition. And then as a message here, we have the Two of Pentacles. And I don't need to clarify this because it's very clear. This is all about, you know, keeping things in balance, you know, maintaining that moderation. And also, you know, um, knowing that certain difficult things, they happen for a reason. And that is what helps us, helps us to grow, all right? Because there are challenges. And I feel like, you know, if you were to continue with this person, at least the message here is that, yeah, it could still be a little bit of a, of a challenge. There could be a little bit of stormy weather because of everything that has happened in the past. I do also get that it is something that is manageable, though. It's just not going to be one of those, all right, you know, it's all like fun and games and just take it lightly. No, it's not one of those situations. Um, and yeah, like I said, you can have that and not be settling anymore for anything that, that you don't deserve. All right, Capricorn. 
if this resonated. Let's see your final oracle message. And please do give me a like if it did. And let me know in the comments. Let me know um, your situation, if, if this made sense for you. All right, we have healing family issues. All right, and the message says you your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so for some of you, that could be um, an issue here. It could be for the other person. It could be the way they, they grew up. Doesn't excuse them, doesn't justify them, but that could be an issue here. But I mostly see this as, you know, if this connection were to continue, there's a lot of healing that would need to be done um, between the two of you. And it is possible, but again, it's up to you if you think it's worth it. So yeah, that is it Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.